I think there are different ways to go here. You can go old school and probably a little bit more heavy, or you can go minimalistic and futuristic. And in this particular part of our range that we call him, we go a little bit looking in the future. Well, it's short for less is more. It's a collection of garments for fast and light trekking and hiking. Imagine yourself wearing a classic hiking boot and taking those 22,000 steps. If you can reduce half of the weight, it will just allow you to go much longer and much faster. You need to feel like you can trust our products. So we've always gone for how light can we go, but still keep you warm and still keep you dry. When I first found out that we were going to Barra Islands, I felt like this will be the best weather to test our new products in. The complex part of lightweight is that many people think that the lighter you go, the less you can be maybe in the outdoors. So we want to challenge the wind, we can challenge the sun, but still be as light as we can. Can you try this for a minute? Yes. Great. Thank you. We have all the harsh conditions that we need to test this light stuff. We got the wind, we got the trails. Mm -hmm. For we sure, get rain. some rain. With yeah. the rain. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a perfect. Yeah. Woo! For all our lean products, it's really essential that you can stow them inside your bag that you have with you. You want to be fast and to have lightweight clothes on. But then as soon as the rain comes out or the wind is too blown too hard, you want to feel like, okay, I can pull this one out and put it on. Fossa, the waterfall, that was really wet. Um, it was a really good place to see how well our garments hold up to extreme rain and uh, wetness, so sort of a natural rain chamber. Just to be able to walk behind the waterfall and standing there underneath the shower was a uh, moment. I'm experiencing the, the power of nature. You get everything here. Kalsai was probably one of the most amazing places I've been. It also felt like we were going to the end of the world. Being, being Scandinavian, being Swedish, we had quite a harsh environment. Stuff, stuff just needs to work, it, it needs to endure. Because as long as you're waterproof and windproof, you can also minimize the layers if you trust the ones you have. And of course we are trying really hard to find the right fabrics, but some things you need to have on the jacket to feel protected. It's really good to just compare from day to day different jackets, different fabrics. I think the park was maybe a bit of overkill for that kind of steep. It's really airy, uncomfortable, but the grip was really good. That refers back to real like hiking, hardcore mountaineering. We need to know that it's suitable for being in the outdoors. Yeah, let's head on back and have a little bit of a workshop. Sort of cut that we have at the bottom, yeah. Mm to get some more shape in there. Having the time to go through all the, the work and all the sketches and all the input that we gather during the day. I think absolutely more toe protection. This concept is actually quite rare. It makes every single person in the team to be part of something bigger. It should be able to take you wherever you want to go. Uh, you should not be restricted in any way. Not from the footwear you're wearing or not from the jackets or not from the backpack.